Social media and direct messaging apps like WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook Messenger have introduced features that limit access to information and let users see content only once. This restriction can increase user engagement. In a research with Bob Meyer and Gidi Nave, I investigate how making content ephemeral by restricting people's repeated access to it affects how they view and process it. We run a series of controlled experiments in the lab and one field study on Facebook and found that people engage more with content when they know they will not be able to see it again. They pay more attention to it and view it for longer. This has meaningful consequences for marketers and communicators. In our studies, viewers of ephemeral content remembered what they saw better and were better able to identify the best alternative from a set of ranked products. In one experiment, we let participants watch a part of a music video and told half of them they will not be able to view it again. Because they were paying more attention to this highly engaging content, they enjoyed it more and were more interested in viewing the entire video. We also ran one study that explored how making content ephemeral affects people's viewing patterns. We recorded participants' eye movements and found that limiting repeated access to content made them look more frequently at relatively important information the rankings of products on different dimensions. This suggests that making content ephemeral affects both the amount of attention that people invest and how effectively they allocate it. Nowadays, consumers are constantly exposed to information from their friends and family, as well as from marketers. So they need to manage their time and attention strategically. We find that one subtle way to make them engage more with content is to limit their access to it and not allow them to view it repeatedly. Interestingly, other research has found that people use ephemeral communication channels more freely and feel more comfortable sharing sensitive or embarrassing content on them. Our findings suggest that this tendency can backfire as the ephemerality of the content might also make the audience focus more and better remember these potentially harmful pictures, videos, or text.